her brother's grave, finally saying goodbye, something she could not do a long time ago. This is Antonia. Not as exciting as I thought it would be. Falcons. No, what's not as exciting as you thought it would be? Turning 15. I can't remember what you I did. You know what they had 15. there? What'd you do Two people oh. had displays of can't dragon remember. eggs they had made. Uh -huh. I almost bought you some, but I didn't oh, know really? if you want them. Were they came from? Yes. Oh, the Mahalchiks. And the Frans. And the Frans. And the Salernos. And the Mahalchiks. Hello. Doing a little light cleaning. <laughs> That's the attic. Oh, wow. Not that good. Birthday Happy birthday. Hello. Hi. I'm almost supposed to come, but she got grounded. Oh, yeah, I know she's holding Happy birthday. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Happy birthday, honey. Thank you. How are you? Hi. I'm going to leave my butt all day. Happy birthday. I'm going to go to my other car. I said, you can't say that. I don't know that. That's so funny. I didn't realize it at the time. That's not what I meant. I know, but it's so funny. I don't think it's what those people meant either. I think they were just rednecks. The cake's a little short of 15 candles. A little short, yeah. Isn't that a movie? What? 15 candles. Is it 15 or 16? 16, Dad. I love that movie. That guy was so All right, Julian, you want to start it off? The one she was in love with. Yeah, I can't remember. I just remember. We should have had a 
have when Mahal tried to start it off. That was terrible. That was terrible. Jamie, start it off. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Antonio. Happy birthday. Oh my God, Julian did his in three. <laughs> Smoking three packs a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been drinking at the Mahaltics again? <laughs> there you go. Good uh, thing you did. Make a wish. Yeah. Yeah. What was your wish? I should have been a wish. She wished for something involving pop. I had to. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, maybe that was breezy.
Okay, June the 16th, Strength Within Tragedy. The package is here. Matt Zay is in studio. He's opening the official box that's going to actually tell if I screwed up the artwork royally. This is all on me if this comes out like complete garbage. And then you're all going to have to wait another two months. <laughs> Fantastic footage of him practically oh. maiming himself yes. in the name of music. The blood. Uh -oh. Oh, the, oh, this box. is one of those boxes. It's another box. <laughs> Yay, we got another box. I like boxes. There's probably another box in there. That's gonna be, no, okay. Oh. Uh. Well, I lined up the back properly. Nice. All right, let's pull one of these babies out. Ladies and gentlemen, the CD, what you've all been waiting for. The colors are perfect. And look at the placement in there. Oh my God, I know what the hell I'm doing. It's amazing. It's incredible. Oh, let's look at the back now. There's the back, beautiful. Hmm. All right, let's... Uh... Okay, now we get to... Open the first CD. Actually, technically, it's not the first one. I think that's. Oh, like, stop! That's yeah. Stuff, right? Don't mind Mr. Semantics over here. I gotta see the disc. You were you like the disc? So how did my disc come out? Oh yeah. Flip it around. Gonna turn it around. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty sharp. Look at that. Who's the dude on the acoustic, though? Is he on this album? I don't know. I don't think so. I think he wanted too much money or something. <laughs> okay. The booklet with actual lyrics. Is if and people. And do you give a crap what Matt had to say? If you do, open up the book and read it. If yes. not, just listen to the great guitar playing. It's always about the guitarist. In which case, see this song right here? This is Love, Life, Hope, and Happiness. Yeah, I did most of this. Just, you know, whatever he did, it's, you know, just whatever. Gotcha. All right. Oh, look at and this is, this is the whole reason that the album was made. Anthony, yeah. Nice. Dedication to Anthony. Damn, everything came out as it's supposed to. Yes. Excellent job, Mr. Modi. Yeah. Right in the back. We, but here's the exciting part right here, Matt. Why don't you take the phone for a second? Turn it around? Yeah. Or turn it around? Yeah. So, Looking at Tom. So, and this is the studio where magic happens. The great thing is, is that if you would like souvenirs from this CD, this is the big picture lyric sheet with actual notes from John Natoli. Okay? And if you think John Natoli is an amazing singer... He actually wrote on this piece of paper, and this is yours. We're starting the bidding at two hundred and fifty dollars. Now John couldn't be here because John decided to go to where was it? Florida. Florida yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's in Florida. This is the pick that I used to record three blistering solos on this album, and we'll be starting the bidding at thirteen cents on this. Billy Pierce. So, if you... so Billy Pierce. <laughs> Billy Rock and Roll wants some memorabilia. And this is the chair that Matt sat his butt down to record bass tracks in. Many times. Right now, we don't know where to start the bidding on that right now. We'll let you, the viewer, decide. Just but. letting you know that one foot was broken for most of that. <laughs> and it uh, took Tom way too long to fix it. So, you might want to start low. <laughs> so, anyway. Z, it looks great, man. I am excited. and Thank you, everybody. Everybody who pre-ordered. Everybody who helped. Anything that was done to further the CD along, thank you very much. I really could not have done this at all if it wasn't for Tom. Stop, so, stop, 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 stop. Thank your people that bought your CD. Please. Well, for all of those who uh, pre-ordered, um, I'll be making the rounds. I'm going to Syracuse tomorrow uh, and drop some deliveries off. And uh, let, next week I'll be doing deliveries uh, wherever you are. Find me, let me know. Um, my Raymond people, you'll get yours Monday. Uh, everybody else, uh, if you want a copy digitally, it's online. Um, if you want a physical copy, just get a hold of me. 
I'll be mailing out everybody else's sometime um, next week uh, when the opportunity arises. Uh, so be patient. It will be coming. Um, and I, I got to go back to Tom. I'm sorry. But All right. We, gotta, we have to go now. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, no, Thank no. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye, uh, people. Bye-bye. Yes. All right, come on. I got the camera on now, so you have to do good. Wow. Do we just, like, walk down there and... Yes, step on yes. the button. Step on the button. Right. Have yeah, I talked to Elvis earlier in the, in the other hallway. I think we should make him stand here. He's really stiff and not really. See how long they can do it without moving. Yeah. Such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, my God, you all look so cool. Oh, I want to hear yours. We're going to make you be first. Isn't that great for you? There we go. Hi, I'm Steve Jobs. Hi. Um, I was born in California. That's February 24, 1955. He doesn't need a card. Nice. That's awesome. You know who he is? Of course, he didn't really... Hey. Hey, uh, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of crazy person. Looks a little crazy. I guess you have to step on the button. Step on the button and find out. Hope he speaks up. Hi, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I am one of the co-founders of Nintendo. I have made many games such as Mario, Donkey Kong, Legend of Zelda, the Wii and Wii Fit and more. I was born on November 16th, 1952 in Snow Beach, Canada. At eight years old, I spent most of my time in the woods. I loved exploring, climbing trees and fishing. When I was exploring, I found caves. I loved the adventure and this is what inspired me to make video games. As a kid, I didn't have a TV, but I did go to a nearby movie theater, where we normally watched animated films. I also enjoyed making stories and reading them. In fact, I even made an after-school cartoon club. In 1970, I was in college, on a draw, build, and destroy them. I spent most of my time playing video games and listening to music. One of my first jobs was Nintendo. When I was hired by Nintendo, I was ready to make games. But I didn't understand why players always competed with each other. I wanted to make a new game with a story so you could work together as a team. When I started making games, my first one was Donkey Kong. You play as a character named Mario in the game. In the game, in the game he's a carpenter that's supposed to save his girlfriend plane from his pet ape. You have to climb ladders and jump over barrels that Donkey Kong rolled down. In 1983, I made Mario Bros. In the game, you play as two game guys named Mario and Luigi. You go through the New York City sewers to save a princess. Today, I'm one of the most successful game developers in the world. I have made a lot of games, more than I can say. Game over. Does he always wear clothes that are like, mismatched? And stuff? Play me alone. Is it okay to kiss the wax statue? No. No? Not in public. Huh? Not in public, but you can give me a hug. Your head down. Don't, don't peek at your dad when you're trying to right. <laughs> Uh-oh, he doesn't like the camera, do you? Alright. Stay the ball as long as you can, yep. but keep the right side going. I think you're a little... We can delete all those, it's okay. That's right. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, Dwayne. You're just messing it up for the monitor. Let your arms hang away from you and let them swing away from you. <laughs>
really remember this can just stay in here with the body so make that belly button go left <laughs> Keep your head down, touch the ball. There you go. Bend the knees just a little bit. That's how you're supposed to chip. That's how it's supposed to work, just like that. Well, that was a way to use the downhill. Nice little tap. That's a good putt, Steve. Oh, oh nice putt. I think you guys had me. <laughs> no, they did. I'm not sure what you guys had. Way to roll it in there, Julian. Nice putt. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Go home and have dinner. Jules. Four. Three.